Fantastic finish to the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Jackson State versus Southern. Jackson State is up 6-4 to four in the ninth. Three outs away from going to the dance, but a leadoff single on a full count. That starts the rally. They go to the bullpen. Kid in the pen says, yep, I'm good, ready to go. Let's lock down this victory. Ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four. Uh-oh, that brings the go-ahead run to the plate in O'Neal Burgos. And they're fired up. Let's go, Burgos! Let's go, Burgos! They're fired up. Of course, they are. Take strike one. Next pitch sends it to deep left. Outfielder's got a beat on it, tracking it down. Oh, my God, the door was loose. He falls in. What's going on? Nobody knows. You know who knows? The guys in the bullpen because they got the best view, and you can tell by his reaction, he's excited about something. They're cheering. Everyone else, no idea what's going on. Clearly, the runners score, but he's like, should I go to third? Then they try to get him out at third base. He's safe. Everyone's going absolutely nuts on their side, but there's still a little confusion because, like, that guy went through the bullpen door, but here come the guys in the bullpen running to their teammates saying, no, it was over the fence. It's a home run. We saw the whole thing. It's gone. And they're right. They go to replay, and it's tricky because he didn't even get his glove on it. When you watch it in slow-mo, it goes behind his glove. So you can see it there, and it's past his glove already before he even touches the door that fails him. And then you could see it weave through the bars behind him and into the brick, and now he's through the door. So the door didn't really even come into play, albeit as bad, because you can see it right there weaving through the bars. I'm going backwards now. I'll go slow. All right, you can see it in the black and white little circle go past now it's weaving through those bars back there you can see the little blur and now is when he's making contact with the door it's well past him so it looked crazy it sucks the 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 placement was awful but the ums get together and they say yeah that's a home run and now southern's going nuts on the sideline they still got to get the final out but they're pumped up jaguars baby bottom of the inning they get the final out and the celebration I mean, it just gave me tons of chills. I love the ball spike there. Perfect dog pile. Feel bad for the people on the bottom of this dog pile. Being on the bottom of dog piles sucks. You feel like you're honestly going to die. You're like, let me up, let me up. This guy takes the rosin bag and absolutely spikes it, which adds to the setting, the scene, a little smoke. And then we got a bunch of guys just taking it in, dropping to a knee, thinking on it, achieved their goal, accomplished something. Big moment. Gave me chills watching this. Number uh, 30 here. Big fist pump. He goes down on one knee, draws something in the dirt, takes it in. These dudes, that's a great hug. Screaming at each other. They're going to the tournament, representing the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And I'm excited to follow their story. What a way to enter the dance. Just big hugs all around. I love it. If you're into amateur baseball, if you want to follow the top prospects in the minor leagues or international leagues or college, follow Farm to Fame. It's a podcast on our network, and they do a great job talking about all these kids that you will eventually know as stud MLB players.